Hello, good people, and welcome to a tutorial series on LangChain. In this introductory video, we're going to talk about our goals for this series. We're going to talk about what LangChain is, and we're going to talk about why I think it's a crucial investment to uh, put energy into learning what LangChain is and how you can use it. Now, first off, how the series is going to work. We're going to run through the documentation that they've provided, and I'm going to speak over the documentation and provide some real world code samples and extend them just a little bit. So you can see some, uh, some functionality that you may find applicable in your business or your personal life. Now, how is the series going to be going? Well, it's mostly going to be around short tutorial videos. However, we may get crazy and go say roaring kitty style and do some three hour videos, but we will see now. Why is LangChain important and what is it? Well, first, before I go and explain that, I wanna kind of set up what the problem is. Now, what we're looking at here is we're looking at ChatGPT. And this is something that we all know, and I'm gonna first ask ChatGPT, what is LangChain? Uh, what is LangChain? And we'll see what it says for us. It says, oh shoot, I'm sorry, but I'm not familiar with the term LangChain. Now, why could this be? Well, it's because LangChain is a more uh, recent library that just came out. Uh, I think I was just looking at, uh, or Harrison was speaking, and he said he went full-time on it three weeks ago. So this is something like in January of 23, he went full-time on it. That is one of the creators of LangChain. Now, this is new, and ChatGPT has not been trained on data more recent than, I think, 2021. Now, OpenAI is definitely going to get there eventually, but they haven't done it yet. So that's problem number one. Problem number two is how many Google Docs did I write last year? Now, if I were to ask ChatGPT, how many Google Docs did I write last year? Let's see what it says. Let's give it a second. It's going a little bit slow. I'm going to pause it here just until it comes back for us. And there it goes. So it says, I'm sorry, but as an AI model, I do not have access to your personal information, which makes complete sense because I've not linked my Google Drive to it. And it has no understanding about who I am. Well, not in the explicit sense. And it can't do that for me. So what's really cool is that that is where LangChain likes to play. Now, if I were to represent this in a different way, rather than just questions, what we're doing here is I'm this cool person with the sunglasses and I'm accessing the open AI, AP, uh, uh, the artificial intelligence models. I just did it through my browser, which is over here on the left, but you could also do this through the API and they have an API that you can go in and there's plenty of tutorials about how to use that, which is cool. However, it's not connected to my outside information. And this is where LangChain starts to come in. Let me move my little guy over here. This is where lane chain starts to come in. So if I put myself right in the middle there, um, what lane chain does is it's going to connect your AI models that you want to use, whether it's open AI or something on hugging face, and it is going to connect to outside sources. And it's going to do some really cool things without those outside sources. So all of a sudden you can start to chain together commands, which is the chain in LangChain. And you can say, Hey, what is the weather today to open AI? And it is going to come back and those language models are going to understand what are the series of questions that it needs to do to understand how to get the information that you want. Now, the applications of this are almost endless. And they're building even more integrations every single day. If you follow them on Twitter or their or GitHub change log, you can see some really cool things that they're putting out. So I think that this is an amazing place to start to learn because by learning this or by choosing to learn this, you're betting that OpenAI and Hugging Face are not going to build direct integrations to the tools that you use every day. Now, in my opinion, <clears throat> OpenAI, OpenAI wants to remain on the API uh, at the very bottom layer and just be an API for certain machine learning models. They do not want to build direct integrations into Google, into Notion, into Wolfram and Alfram. They want the community to do that. So by learning LangChain, you're taking the bet that there's going to be a separation and different abstraction layers. And this is the piece that is going to connect those different layers. Now, is LangChain going to be the library that wins it all and going to be very ubiquitous? Who knows? I don't know. But I guarantee that by learning the functionality in this library, whichever one does come around, you're going to find extremely valuable. Now, that's LangChain, and I encourage you to go check out their documentation. Now, in fact, what we're going to do in a lot of this tutorial series, let me just make this a little smaller. What we're going to do in this tutorial series is we're going to run through their documentation, and I'm going to start to explain 
what you can do with it. They have a lot of cool modules and they have a lot of cool use cases, like starting to create agents that can do things off your, on your behalf, how to create chatbots, how to do some generation, some question answering, summarization. We're going to do some really cool stuff here. Uh, evaluation and et cetera, et cetera. Now, as more documentation comes out, we'll do more videos, but this is just a quick overview about how this is gonna run. I encourage you to subscribe to this channel to see when other videos come out, or if you wanna get them via email, go to dataindependent.com, which this channel is associated with, and you can sign up for the email uh, newsletter, not a newsletter, but just get updated when new videos come out there. Now, I hope that you're having fun, I hope you're going to enjoy this with me because I'm really excited to learn this alongside of you and build some really cool things. The last thing that I will say is my emphasis as a uh, instructor is always about real world applications. I don't really care about theory. I'm not a hardcore machine learning stats person who's going to show you some academic papers. I really care about having you make impact in the B2B environment or in your personal life because I believe that these tools can leverage up the amount of impact that we can have so that one person or a small team of people can create a lot more good in the world and impact in the world. So I'll wrap up with that. Very excited to learn with you. Let's have some fun.